Hey, Ernest, this is JJ. Got a follow-up question for you. So I'm a big reader. I love to read. Uh, uh, there's the, I love to learn from other people. There's so much great content out there. Here's a couple of books I'm reading right now. But there is a book I will be starting shortly that uh, might look familiar to you. Everybody Fumbles. So you wrote this book. Tell us about this book and what was the motivation behind writing this book? Good morning, JJ. This is Ernest Byron. Just finished uh, my workout. Uh, continue rehab is what I call it. It's uh, trying to build, continue to rebuild the, the body uh, to exercise uh, the mind and the soul. Uh, I enjoy it. Addicted to it, but I know it's good for, I know it's good for me, and I know it's good for other people. That's for another another clip, though. We are talking about our books, and mine is called "Everybody Fumbles," uh, inspired by the events that have happened to me and around me, and around some of the people that I've been associated with uh, in the National Football League in, in college at East Carolina, and also in high school, and goes back to my childhood. The, the motivation for sharing the, the book and the writings and the experiences is to help others to develop, to help others see that life is uh, it's definitely something that is a corporate event. It involves, it involves us all, and we affect each other in many different ways. But if the, the collection of short stories give evidence of, of, of being able to develop in the game, within the game, within relationships within the game, and also relationships in life. Uh, I love uh, being able to share and, and assist in any way possible. And part of the assistance is sharing life stories. Hey, JJ, Ernest Biner, how are you doing? When Opportunity Knocks, that's your new book. I'm excited for you. When was the first time that Opportunity Knocked for you? And also, how did you choose that as the title of your book? I'm excited to hear about it. Hey, Ernest, great questions. Let's see, how far back do I want to go when I answer that first one, the first opportunity? Well, let's just say, here's one that really impacted me. And this was when I was in the 10th grade. And I remember how we used to play football in the streets in the neighborhood. Uh, they probably don't do that as much today as we used to. But um, I was watching a bunch of 12th graders play. And these guys are big. They were older. And I always really wanted to play with them. And they never let me play. On one occasion, my friends and I were watching them play. And one of their team members got hurt. So they're looking around trying to figure out who can replace them because they had no other guys um, available. And one of the guys said, hey, pick him, referring to me, and said, I think he's pretty good. Let's give him a shot. So they put me in there, and I was really excited to play with the big guys. And I just thought, here's my opportunity to show that I can really play this position. But they would not throw me the ball at all. I was just a decoy, running go routes, clearing it out over and over and over. And we were losing. And... One occasion, one of the guys just said, hey, why don't we throw J.J. the ball? And the quarterback was like, no, no, no. And the guy was like, no, throw him the ball. I mean, come on. We're, we're losing. Let's give him a shot. So the quarterback looked at me and said, okay, what do you want to run? I said, I want to run a go route. Just throw it. And he goes, what? I said, just throw it as far as you can. And he's like, okay. So we line up, hike the ball. He takes seven, seven steps back, and he launches it. And I look up. I'm thinking, whoa, he really threw it. But I just hit another gear, went and got it, caught it, scored, and they just started screaming. And after that, they kept throwing me the ball over and over and over. And that opportunity was a game changer for me mentally because that's when I realized that I was pretty good at the wide receiver position. So how did I come up with this title, When Opportunity Knocks, Eight Surefire Ways to Take Advantage? I chose that because, one, when you're 5'10", 157 pounds, playing in the NFL for nine years, the big man's game. Um, I can't explain to you how many times people told me I was too small and I didn't belong throughout this road to the NFL, even when I got there. But I maximized that opportunity, and I want help to help 
I want to help people understand that no matter who we are, what our situation is, what our circumstances is, we all have opportunities in life. The question is, do we seize them? And then two, do we take advantage of them? And that's what I want to share in my book so that people can go on to do great things.